Hi everyone and welcome back to Swiftly Shivali. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the basics of Xcode Playground. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if this video is of any use to you. On my channel, I post videos regularly and I try and cater my content towards beginners who are learning iOS development or learning Swift. So let's get started. Um, over here, I'm going to open Xcode. Just downloaded it. And I will be shown three different options over here on the screen. The first one is get started with Playground, um, which, which is the one that I'm going to select. I don't need to create a project right now. The difference between a project and a Playground is that a Playground is meant for experimentation somewhere where you can write code without the need to build an app in order to test out your code and to run it. If you create an Xcode project for an iOS app, for example, then you will have to um, build that app and run the entire app every single time you want to run your code. And so in a playground, it's great for testing out logic beforehand, experimenting with data types, um, just seeing how your code will run before you jump right into a project. This is where I shoot a lot of my tutorials in a playground. So if you would like to follow along with my other videos, um, make sure you see this tutorial to the very end and you'll be able to follow along in your very own playground. So after I've selected that option, I'm going to select a blank playground here. And then I'm going to name it my playground and you can save it wherever you would like. So here we go. This is our playground. And I'm just going to expand it like this. You can see that on the left hand side of the screen is where I can type my code in. This is going to look very different than an Xcode project if you're familiar with that. So here we have um, our coding section and then on the right hand side, in a different color, you will see the live outputs that will be presented and this is great for debugging. So I'll give you an example of that right now. Another important thing that I want to mention before we get started is the that the first line of a playground should have a comment um, listed out. So I'm just going to say like my playground over here and I think this is just a bug that Xcode has but it's important that you have the first line be a comment because otherwise your playground may not run and that's really frustrating. Many people have asked this question uh, like my playground is not running what do I do and then the two key things that they may be missing is to have a comment of the first line and then also to import UI kit. So once the playground has these two elements in it, you can play over here to see how it will react. Um, playing your playground essentially means that you are running this code. So I see that this debugger on the side will help me identify what uh, my variables have. So this variable, um, is assigned to Hello Playground. And then I can further click on this icon to have a quick look. Um, I can also click on this um, Hide Results icon, which will show me the results right here in the um, coding console. So I can go ahead and hide that again. Um, when you are manually running your code here with this play button, you can set the lines of code that you want to run. So let's add some more code here. So I'm going to create an array 
and then just have it be very simple. One, two, three, four. And let's add one more line of code and say, let's see, print the string. So I want to run this print statement so I can go all the way here to line seven. And then as I have this print statement here, you will see that the console popped up at the bottom. The way that you show and hide this console is from uh, this middle button right here. It says show and hide the debug area. So this console is here and my print statement uh, has been printed, hello playground. Suppose I don't want to run my code all the way until line seven. Suppose I would stop it at line five. I can do that here by manually only running the code until line five and you'll see that nothing is printed out in my console statement because this print um, function has not been run yet. So this is also great for debugging when you want to run only a portion of your code and not all of it at once because you want to debug your code. And you'll see that the value of my array is here. I can pop it up here and then take a look. Um, so that's super great. Um, what, what else is great is that you don't have to only manually run your code in your playground. A lot of times in my videos I will have the setting to be automatically run. So you can see at the top of my console they have this option manually run or automatically run. I'm going to choose automatically run here and so all of the code that I have written will be running and as I update it in real time you can see that the code will automatically run. So if I do print um, hello subscribers then you will see that printed out uh, in real time as the playground runs. when I have automatically run selected. Let's see another example of how uh, the playground can help us debug some things. Uh, we can have a simple for loop, for example. So for elements in array print elements. So that should run automatically and I can see that um, the debugger on the side is showing me that this loop ran four times. And also in my console, I have it printed four times. So the playground is great. You can also import other libraries that you have added. Um, everything that you can do in a project is generally included in the playground. It's great for logic, it's great for just exploring. Um, this video uh, was shot using Xcode 11.4.1, uh, which is the latest one um, on the App Store, but this functionality has pretty much been there since playground was um, released and it's really great for beginners so if you want to follow along with my videos um, make sure to subscribe to my channel and get started with playground hopefully it was easy enough for you to follow if you have any more questions please leave them in the comment section below and let me know what you think